welcome to the Chaos Cast Crown. As I said, I ask some normal questions here. I also ask some really fucked up questions. So I hope you're ready for it. This is not really a political show, though sometimes it can get political. But um, I try to ask questions that kind of throw people off. Anyways, um, as you all know, we do like a battle royale kind of style. So I will ask a question and then anybody can jump in and, and say what they want. And you all will just, you know, duke it out. So, and then chat decides who's the winner for that round. And the very first question that I have for you all is how dare you and who gave you the right? Rob Your noted. mom. Okay. Um, I th- was that was just young. a joke. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, I if you want to, if you want money. to answer it. Yeah, okay. All right. Rob, <laughs> Rob Nor gave me that right when uh, we were on the American Octagon together. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. The mm-hmm. one where now he we have a rule for you. <laughs> Wait, we have a rule. You guys have a rule for me? Yeah, it's called the Stardust Rule. What is that? It's basically if you use your uh, cage match to just scream over the other person, yeah. then uh, we, <laughs> we mute you for, we only mute you. <laughs> and then the other person gets a minute uninterrupted. And I got it with the uh, CTV and I read him the first page of the Communist Manifesto. Nice. Very nice. Oh, uh, Why nice. is that called the Stardust Rule? Just out of yeah, curiosity. That's, that's not what Stardust uh, does, is it? Uh, she it, it did is it what to I did. Rob Noor. I did it she to did Rob it to Noor. Rob. Um, I was on the American Octo- Octagon and um, I picked a cage match with him. And there were no rules at that time to the cage match, so I decided I'll just scream at this guy. So I started screaming <laughs> that, um, you know, don't put fucking words in my mouth, don't put don't shit put in my mouth, my don't you dare shit in my mouth. <laughs> so <laughs> it just went full oh, meme wow. with the screaming, yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah. It, it, was, uh, it was awesome. Well, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm sad that they had to make a rule for me. So. Yeah. Well, I'm happy I got to use it to my advantage so I could read Critically Thinking Veteran, the first page of the Communist Manifesto. Okay, cool, yeah. How, how did he beautiful. take that? Did he did he take anything on board? Did he agree with anything? He uh, read me the preamble to the Constitution, so I retaliated in uh, true Marxist fashion with, uh, you know, how do I hitherto society. Vosh loves... Horses. How do I block uh-huh. this? Wow. Respond, uh-huh. reje- reject. Are oh, there some people horsing around? Jesus. Yeah. No pun intended. Is that true? Well, for, no, first of all, of course not. But second of all, even if it was, would it be that bad? No. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but it's not true, of course. Yeah, of course. Just like I don't harvest organs and sell them on the black market. No, um, of course. But if you did, you know. I'd be doing a service because we have a shortage, actually, of of organs, but, you know, I don't do that, so. Um, Okay. Yes. So, yeah, right. Um, Okay, so first question, that was a meme question. I didn't mean it. Um, uh, The first question is, if vampires didn't suck blood, okay, this is a Halloween edition, okay, so you all have to argue about this. Okay, so if vampires okay. didn't suck blood and instead they like suck cock, would you let one suck your cock? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Why, Why not? not? They're gonna be because, gonna suck your do they off. still have the fucking teeth? Is it gonna bite? <laughs> yeah. Are they st- <laughs> they're they're even those, better. Even those better. Teeth are up yeah. Front. But they're not like can. molar teeth. The they're up front. They're oh, right but there. But here's the thing: when when the vampire sucks your cock then you have like this insatiable need to suck cock like once a month. Well, we already get I that, mean, don't we? I, I mean, that, that would be less than my usual, so. Yeah. Don't see that. Wow. I, I don't you see get, that. You get, bit, you get your, uh, your dick sucked to be like, oh, thank God a reprieve. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd be like, oh, okay, only once. Only yeah. once Question, a month. Question, like, do they have like vampires, dick suckers, anonymous, where you like sit there and you go like, hi, I... I'm Drac. I'm a dick stuckaholic, and what kind of uh, name is Drac? I just Dracula vampire. Like Dracula, yeah. It's a cool, really on cool website for that. It's Twitter. It's the it's the gay version oh. of Dracula, Drac, right? Yeah. I thought it was just like the American, like Chad version. Like, hey, I'm Drac. 
Yeah. You know, like, uh, like I'm Dracula. I, I don't cock. think they have a. I don't think they have a support group for that. I just figured like it would be interesting. Like, what if, what if like vampires? I don't know. Like, th- do you think like vampires, the traditional vampires that suck blood, you think that they have like problems when they're trying to suck each other off? Because I feel like that would be like, I don't yes, know. Yes, I'm like... actually reading a book um, right now uh-huh. that is about that is a lot about vampires. I don't know why. I, th- this Which is one? apparently relevant. It's called do Empire they... of the Vampire Ooh. by Jay they make Christoph. Love? And they well, yeah. And in this, they they, they have they do have vampires that have physiques. And um and during that, the, there's actually the main character basically almost like kills a girl because he's like going down on her and doesn't realize that he like needs blood so he like oh what the fuck you know. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> and... oh my god yeah well so that comes up quite a lot in this book and it is a like little a bit conflict weird. of interest though because like if you're getting an erection there's a lot of blood rushing to one area what if the vampire just like loses control and just like yeah should yeah know. also his wife who is a vampire later spoilers um and does also like be like i'm gonna suck you off but also bite your dick and then um suck your blood but it's like feels good it like feels good because this, they're like vampire, the good kind of biting it like feels good for them because they're like obsessed like the way the vampires are is they like enthrall people so you're like yeah like take my blood it's, this just sounds good. like my average wednesday afternoon like wouldn't you have know. to live forever? Don't no vampires loud. live so forever? Sorry. Yeah, they live they forever. They live a while, nope. at least. Yeah. Look, the, yeah. Thing, the thing is, is that on their own, at least, vampires aren't a particularly sexy monster to risk yourself fucking. If it's like a werewolf right. or something, I mean, if it's some... Why do I don't know what the fuck? Wait, 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 because that's like the dress code for vampires. Aren't they like vampires. always forever young? They look. I don't yeah. know. Twilight vampires like were kind of hot. Like, why is a werewolf wrong? hotter than a vampire? Because I don't know this how to man takes horse Because that—that's we're getting. Well, no, it's it's a it's a werewolf. They're werewolves. What do you? A vampire. You can you can look identical to a vampire by putting on those fake plastic teeth. Okay, werewolves are full on monsters. They have uh, the whole thing. Going on aesthetically, yeah. So it's more you want to fuck a monster. It's it's better to have a fetish for like goth-looking people than like dogs. (laughs) I'm I'm just like (laughs) werewolves or not. You can turn into beast. This is like well, well. Let's wait a minute. Let's be fair. Um, because there is like furries, right? Are you a furry? Because that could make sense. I don't even think it's a furry thing. I'm just saying that if we're talking about fucking monsters, which yeah. the vampire does fit within, we're talking about an increased risk to our person, right? I mean, they're all stronger than us. So if you're going to risk that, I would rather it be with some novel experience, like a fucking werewolf or a, 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 a I don't know, a, some cool shit like that, than like, oh, it's like a regular person, except no, they have eyeliner, you know? Okay, but, but here's the, the thing. vampire. Wait. Yeah. yeah. The, the, so like the, some vampires are super strong and like super mm-hmm. like beautiful and like different, you know. Mm-hmm. Also, and in vampires literature, can vampires also be women. Yeah, also in, yeah. in like literature, re- vampires represent like intrigue and desire. They're like very, they can like seduce you. A werewolf just has like a giant furry crotch that needs to be shaved before you even have sex with it. Like that. That's just a. I've had that's sex just a nightmare. shaving my furry crotch. He, uh, it's, and and get, I really wouldn't want to experience that. Godspeed, comrade, but like that would be the worst <laughs> fucking experience in my life. I'm well, so sorry. People who swipe right on me on Tinder, probably, I mean, you know, there's a fair number of women out there into hairy guys. I don't I feel like I've talked to so many girls who have at some point indicated that like getting gang banged by 13 werewolves in a park during nighttime or something is like a dream come true for them, you know? 13? You need yeah, to I'm meet people. That that's you guys need to meet people. Yeah, see, this is anecdotal is experience. experience. I'm nodding right now. My chat is like, yeah, that's me you're talking about. But I'm actually talking about like all of them, you know? Wait, can like a werewolf consent? Mm, no. 
that okay, depends on the werewolf rules. Here's the thing. We're missing uh, the main point here, right? Is that the vampires that I'm talking about are the dick-sucking vampires, which means they're really good at sucking dick. Okay? They've been doing are that they? for thousands of years. Yeah. They're super good. Oh, it's like that's... the best blowjob you're ever going to get. Or if it's a woman, it's like the best head you're ever going to get. Right? But the the one thing is that now you have this insatiable need to, like, you know, suck dick. Or I only think this will make the world a better place. On yeah, God, I do not I, I, see. I, mm. I do not see a downside. This so sounds wait, amazing. Do, wait, okay. So hold on. If blood isn't the sustenance, but cum is, would they even have the sharp teeth? Shouldn't they have some kind of like undulating like series of sphincters inside of their mouth, like Did right they past have, their like, lips? A... Oh my God! <laughs> Shout out the soldiers who died <laughs> in the service. Fuck? I dive in her cervix. Well, you, you, you get what I mean, right? Their their mouth no, no, should be like some kind of oscillating. Are you saying that they get it through their mouth? Well, if 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 they're if the you mouth of a please, regular please 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 please, I know it's Halloween, please. If the mouth of a regular vampire has the pointy teeth to suck blood, then it makes sense that a blowjob vampire would have a mouth specifically designed to suck dick, right? And I, our mouths are not optimal for sucking dick, right? They wouldn't have teeth. They would just Wait, have for like. Yourself? A bunch of rings, like right, like maybe they have multiple lips, God. like different layers. I ain't putting my dick in that. Okay, that sounds fucked up. So, but up. like, if it it's sucks optimized. my dick and then I become one, will my mouth like fucking like get deformed and shit? Painfully, I, yes. I feel like Ooh, only it... only if you're sucking dick, like you know, like it would it would turn into that when you know, like vampires don't always have the sharp teeth necessarily. Like their fangs like come out when they're about to like. You know, suck blood, so it's like the same, the same oh, thing. God. Yeah, like your yeah. mouth like opens into like these many different shaped holes, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're about to go down. They're like, on. hold on, let me get ready. Maybe yeah, and the whole the fucking like throat like, distend. This is what makes it hot, though, right? Like maybe the high oh, risk yeah. nature of this situation is like part of the hotness. Question. Absolutely. I have, I have a really important question. You know, like you know, like a nicotine patch where it like gets absorbed. What if the vampire just has a tongue that it puts on your like ball sack and it just absorbs the cum straight out? Like, is this like a form of evolution they would have? It would be fun though. Yeah, it no, it would, but hard. they would they would evolve over it's time to fixing. find more. Yeah, but yeah. they would find more efficient ways to, to extract I, semen. I mean, it's not about us, right? Semen. It's about it's about their vampiric thirst. So it, our pleasure is really just sort of a means to an end. I don't know. If yeah, I but they. Have but semen, but that's the question, easy, though. Like, like the question that's the point is, they might as well make like synthetic semen. They they just like they Stop. they're so good at sucking dick, right? That's the thing, though. Like they're really good at it. But Stardust, you said that if if they did it to you, you would have an insatiable need to suck dick as well. Is that what you yeah. said? Yeah. I think that's a big deal. Like yeah, I think you. That's not a. You big have a lot of friends. Friend. Would you, you get yeah, like heroin drawback yeah. if you don't like you know. I don't know. I mean, like, you what die. I like, need you to, die if like... you don't. You die if you don't suck. It's dick. like you die. Okay, you die that's not that. It's bad. like a that's tiger. <laughs> like I'll, I'll die Whoa. if I don't suck a dick. That's not. No, bad. that's interesting, right there. I you would like probably starve. be dead. Then it's not. I, I would be dead too. But they suck their own yeah. dicks. Mm. No, they sure. can't suck their own that. dicks. They can't. Damn. Like, like How they do you know can't that? reach, or it wouldn't do anything for them. No, it wouldn't do anything because it's like. Damn. Yeah, vampire can't suck their own blood, can they? It doesn't fucking yeah. work like that, you know? Well, yeah, well, well with that, like though, it. with with that, you're replenishing the same resource, right? But the resources that are used to make cum, like, would they be drinking cum to make more cum in their balls? Would they suck your dick and then their balls would swell with the cum they have? Like, because they, they <laughs> drink blood the for, for food, right? For sustenance. But yeah. if that's a one-to-one -one thing. But for us, it's like... Where's that cum going? Is it being turned into their blood? If you shot it's, one, would they yeah. like run to find the nearest dick they could and like suck it to heal or whatever? Huh. You know what they yeah, say? Could be like... It's their life force, They're... yeah. You, you know there could be say, glory holes just, around I... that people just go to. Okay, and when we say sucking dick, I'm assuming we all we just mean giving head in yeah. general. Yeah. yeah. They'd like play with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody right, in chat says, vampire? even if it's the best blowjob of my life, I'm not sure it would be worth the lifetime commitment of having to suck dick or die. Well, that's just Yeah, your I'm opinion. probably kind of there. Bro, I'm kind of there. It, like, it, I have arthritis it, in my face. Like, well, I don't know. Fuck, that could be fucked. 
I mean, it would be better than sucking blood. You don't have the issue of like, you know, you're you're turning other people into. Uh, well, sorry, you know, that's like a very intrusive thing, isn't it? Sucking someone's blood out. Is, sucking a dick. Is sucking not so a intrusive. dick not intrusive? I feel like <laughs> yeah, but that would be very intrusive as well. Right? Right? Go, There's go more to a bathhouse, right? I mean, it's not yeah. as intrusive yeah. as sucking blood. Sucking blood is way fucking worse than than sucking a dick. Way more intrusive, surely. Yeah, plus there's sure. more demand for dick sucking. We all know this to be true. Yeah, People will line up to you, friends. yeah. People yeah, will be like, I, I, yeah, we've got a neighborhood vampire, and they'll be like, oh, dude, you're so lucky. Do they really? And you'll be like, yeah, they do, <laughs> like six times a day. Dude, no way. It'll be it'll be great. Yeah, what no, if we got go to a point, though? Rings? Wait, what if we got to a point where there were so many vampires trying to suck dick that it went the other way, where it's just like you're trying to find somebody who wants their dick sucked? And then, like, the vampires all start dying because, like, I don't know, they have the monopoly over it. All the, sure everyone's do. wearing, like, cod pieces to hide their dicks from the fucking... Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah, do like... they just need cum as a life force? Does it have to involve dick sucking, right? Can it has like, to not, involve like, the get dick. a spoon? Okay, so it, it has, has to, to be yeah. dick sucking, right? So this is like, not no, about... This Question, <laughs> is sickle cell anemia on the table? <laughs> For them or us? Them. I don't know. Can you get that from sucking dick? <laughs> I don't think so. No, but can they suck sickle cell anemia <laughs> cum and survive on it? I think does so. Sickle, does that affect cum? I didn't. Are they still dead? You know, like that's how you reject. That like, is that like when you eat pineapple and affects it? Well, like I mean, the thing is, is I don't know about you guys, but I get my scientific data from the movie Ted Two, and the rejected sickle cell anemia samples. I'm not sure if they're just less tasty or like. Wait, did. Did the movie Shitty. Ted 2 really go there? We appreciate your contribution yes. to the scientific method. Wait, yeah, yeah are we literally that's describing funny. like a succubus right now? Or an incubus? Like a like a, no, a creature a that's optimized? Mm -mm. It's a, a, dick it's a, a dick succubus. But a succubus is like a cum vampire, basically, right? It's more like a cum demon. A semen yeah, demon? But... Yeah, but... Semen, semen demon. demon. Thank you, John. <laughs> you guys okay. are making this well, too so... easy. Too okay. easy. Okay, so but w with the rampant spread of STIs, like that would be a problem, right? If you're a vampire, you gotta be a like, Pokemon. You, had, like, you gotta catch them all. If you had like HIV, that could be a real hindrance because then you'd have to find others with it. A vampire well, susceptible have... to STIs, or do they not yeah, have like, like? Are they still like dead? Strong, so... cum hardened immune systems. Do you know what I mean? Maybe. I For all we know, this might cure AIDS. So. Everybody gets AIDS. No one has AIDS. Wait, hold on. Wait, I... AIDS affects the blood and the cum. Do do vampires get AIDS? <gasps> they get turbo like AIDS one. in this situation. Turbo AIDS. Yeah, Nick. I feel like we're on the cusp of getting into talking about bug chasing, which is a conversation I'm fascinated with. So I'm just throwing it out there as an option, okay? Uh, bug what? chasing. Oh, bug like, chasing is basically. We can get a little okay. bit more serious. No, we I can talk about out. that. I, it out. Okay. I have a question. Bug chasing. Bug chasing is when gay dudes want to get get AIDS, so they go and let they get fucked by other dudes with AIDS, and they're like, "Yeah, come in me." I don't know that bro. it's specifically gay AIDS. though, right? So this is like a chicken pox party. Yeah, Dennis for AIDS. Prager is a bug chaser. Yeah, that is true. Dennis Prager is indeed a bug. He came out as a bug chaser recently, so you know, no kink shaming though, okay? Yeah, so I think it's anybody <laughs> who shame. gets off on getting sick, right? Uh, off of sex. Right. These days, I mean, there's, there's getting sick and getting a cold, and there's getting AIDS. Like, it's another yeah. level. Do you know what I mean? Do you I think cool. that uh, do you think that these days like bug chasers like have trouble coming or whatever? Because like AIDS is super survivable now. At this point, like yeah. if, with proper treatment, if you've got the money for it, having AIDS is legit like not even a deal. So now, do you think it's you like take the fun like, out a little bit? Pass it on. I'm well, sure. I mean, ideally. Oh, they all have COVID now. They're all, like, kissing and stuff. Yeah, they've got COVID. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, COVID me up, bro. Fucking get your tongue in my fucking mouth. Let's go. Question. Do we, like, question. If if they suck dick, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know how herpes, you can get it on your face, too, in the form of cold sores. Do they get cold sores? I, I have to know this. Do vampires, the dick succubus, the semen demon, whatever you want to call it, does it get, like, mouth herpes from sucking herpes dick? I don't think it should because I eventually think they have come hardened right? immune systems. But I think I... we should be talking about the wider societal implications of like vampires overtaking like the sex work market. Like, okay, the world put a lot that. of sex workers out of a job, right? If like all the vampires are going around doing all of the dick sucking and everything, I mean, you know, 
but what if they only want to suck dick and they don't want to do the other stuff? So you have to, so there could be But it be was both. It was all head, right? And I mean, that's the best part. True. Y- wait, but wait. But not necessarily like intercourse. Okay, guys. You know mm. how they, uh, you know how capitalism breeds in innovation. We all know this. It's totally <laughs> true. Uh, what's going to happen is sex workers are going to have to find a way to innovate the dick sucking market. They're going to like, before you know it, they're going to be like teaching courses. They're like, all right, ladies, everybody get together now. Why is it ladies? Oh. Well, I think they're going to have to like learn to code. Is this free market oh. dick sucking? Is this free why market is it, dick sucking? Why is, why is it all ladies who are the sex workers? Yeah. Oh, fellas, you're not at the table. Patriarchy. Mic drop. Mm. Fellas, Listen, it's, 20, it's 2021. Come on, let's go. It's 2021. Let's get the time. I used to watch right? a show called Gigolos. There, there's, you know, that was a big thing Any between 2006 and 2011. Can we have Rob Schneider from Deuce Bigelow Male Gigolo like teach the classes <laughs> on, you know, like how to get how the fellas get down too? Like, I'm triggered. <laughs> If Why they have, like, hardened immune systems... Is Rob systems? Schneider still around? I hope so. I, Rob Schneider, if you're watching this, send me a message <laughs> on probably Discord. Is. I need to know you're okay. <laughs> Damn. If they have, like, hardened immune systems, wouldn't that corner the market on sex work? Because, like, I don't know, that seems like a yeah, a pretty that... big... Okay. But, but keep in mind that if you go to them, uh, you are consigning yourself to the permanent dick-sucking thirst, which, I mean, if you're a straight guy, maybe that's not, like, necessarily your thing. So I feel like there would still be a thriving market for sex workers for people who don't want any of the associated side effects. Yeah, they become a scare. Not to anal, vaginal, I mean, there's plenty of other... Yeah, they we could get vaccinated commodity, against guys. it. Wait, would this, would this be vampire discrimination as well? Because, like, what if people yeah, were, like, so. go, you know? Like, you could be a vampire or people could be, you know, pretending mm. to be a vampire and you could, you know, end up in a very, you know, unwanted situation with... I think there would be a stigma around, vampire, around these vampires. Because people would be yeah. like, ew, no, I don't want your gross vampire... Dick sucking fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. no, no, really though. I know I think, what's I in your mouth. There would be, you know? There would be. There would be. Yeah. But it might be a bit, I mean, if they can pass you some kind of, you know, genetic curse to suck. I mean, I maybe a bit warranted, right? I guess there were people saying that you were bigoted if you weren't sleeping with folks with AIDS back in the 1980s or 90s and stuff, but that was always a huge minority. Um, there yeah, would be yeah. like a cringy vampire civil rights movement. Uh, if if this was real though, yeah. If yeah. you don't want to become cringy, well, I there are, there are you know cringy ones and non cringy ones, right? <laughs> do you do you think that we should inspire everyone to have a terminal dick sucking thirst? I just want to know. Is that what we should for? Right now. It's not terminal <laughs> if you just suck a dick. Question: Can we suck each other's dicks? Like vampires, can they suck other vampires' dicks? Yes, I think so. They can well, they can't with blood. Vampires never target other vampires for blood sucking. See, mm. see, but this is the it thing. It depends on the vampire. But semen is not a zero sum game, right? You just you constantly produce, you constantly produce. So like, you guys could just like exchange back and forth each other's samples. You can I need to know more of the rules of this game. I didn't think that far ahead, to be honest with you. But I well, think we. Well, Stardust. I'm an intellectual of the semen demon game, you see. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna write a book on this. I think we've come to a natural stopping like point with I've, with this one, unless you guys want to continue. So no, I just think no, that I, we've had enough about like, dick suckers. I think. Yeah. I would yeah. like everyone to go away and think about the actual law and make like a proper presentation about what this new society would look like because I think it could be one where we all thrive at the end of the day. Cool. Yeah. Um, chat, I think it's not really the long your understanding. I'm posting a link. Show. Vote for who you think uh, did the best or made made the best points or said oh, the I coolest stuff. this was the competition. Um, yeah, don't worry. There will be plenty of, <laughs> of uh, opportunities for people to, you know, come out ahead of each other. Um, Please don't vote for me. I'm just here to not be depressed. Guys, just remember who came out with those controversial points. Free market dick sucking right here. Hmm. I'm like the Karl Marx of the dick sucking free market, okay? All Look, right. I am 
totally okay with the free market being unleashed on the on the fellatio issue. That's actually one of the very few industries where capitalism has not been allowed to thrive uh, to its fullest extent. Thank you. Okay, topic number. We need to form dick sucking unions. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, you, right, that's all. you started on the topic of dicks, and you expect us to not continue. No, <laughs> I expected it. Topic. I expected. I wanted to come up with. I tried to merge a fucked up topic with Halloween, and this is what happened. Um, I think you did a really great job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Innovative. Innovation. Mm -hmm. You Breaking come boundaries. here for it. You come here for it, you know? You, definitely. Okay, next topic is more of a normal question. Do you guys think that um, uh, parents should treat siblings of different sexes, like, differently? They should, like, raise them differently. No, because that's cringe and degenerate. Yeah. It's a strong opener. That's yeah. very cringe. Well, very cringe. I mean, Can I get base gender neutrals in the chat? Okay, base. okay, but here's the thing, like there there are there are um there are some more inherent risks, right, to being born a certain way, right? Yeah. Like okay. being cringe? Like being cringe. No, like being... I think because I was thinking that I was like, oh, but yeah. you know, you do need to teach, a, you know, if you have like a, a femme presenting child, you might have to teach them about, you know, creepy people who like to creep on little girls or like, hey, uh, some guys might push you into things. But I also, I was like, actually, you should also be teaching like mask kids that that does happen too, so that they don't feel pressured by their peers to maybe become like that. Like you can teach them the same stuff, I think. And I think it's important to teach them that like, maybe someone else who looks mm -hmm. different might be experience, experiencing these same things, or like these different things. Like, I think I stopped making sense. Do you know what no, I mean? But it no, I do, no, but it's I, also it contextual sense. on, like, society, like, yeah. gender roles and stuff as well. Like, it has to be specific yeah. to the person that is growing up. So, I mean, it is kind of different depending on what perspective you're teaching these things from. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, it's hard because you can't, it's not like we can just go, yay, abolish gender roles because they're so entrenched historically that you kind of still have to teach these things from at least some kind of perspective. Like we can attempt to make it more neutral, which is a good thing, but the, it's contextual. Yeah, but I agree with you. No, no I, I agree. I think you teach them all the same things. It's just a matter of, um, you know, where the active agent in the sentence is, you know? Uh, it would either yeah. be, you know, uh, I mean, either way you'd say like, you know, sometimes like girls get like unfair expectations for this or like, you know, you know, people might be weird like here like this and it's whether it's happening to you or others. Uh, I, I think the same lessons are still important, you know? Like, I feel like a lot of these, it's, it's the same with race stuff, right? Like, do you raise white and black kids different? Well, no, but maybe black kids might need the talk, right? It's like, hey, you know, police probably aren't going to treat you great some of the time, you know? But you'd, you'd want to tell white kids that too. You just, they wouldn't be the active agents there. You would just say like, hey, just so you know, there's not always fairness with these systems. And you'd explain some of that stuff to them. But same basic yeah. ideas, right? That is I mean, what I mean. Teach, we can teach empathy, right? We can teach them like how to empathize with the other cultures and understand the struggles of other cultures. And we can all have the same general understandings of uh, Dylan, how I think your I like think your mic changed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like this is, yeah, one sec. Let me check my settings. I agree. Somebody, oh, what about uh, like uh, extreme challenges for your kids? Like leave them alone in the mall and walk away while they're not looking and just kind of keep I an eye on them. That. See how they do. Really? I screamed and cried. And Wait, really? Yeah. Terrify then, them once in a while. Yeah. And then they, and then my mom just kept on walking because apparently I did that all the time. And eventually I got over myself and ran off to it. So. Am I wow. better, guys? Interesting. Yeah, yeah my better. parents taught me to stand still, and they were like, "We will always come find you. If you get lost, just stand still, and we will always come and find you, and don't listen to strangers." Oh my god, you have nice parents. I'm jealous. It was pretty privileged, actually. That's so. wonderful. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's like the solid way of parenting that situation, though. I have no idea. No, I think it is good. Like, isn't it good if you like get lost to like stay in the same? But like you shouldn't, especially so. like little kids, you shouldn't. 
yeah. they shouldn't wander off because it's hard. Like, don't go like, with a random adult. That's how you get yeah. more lost. Yeah, I yeah, don't know yeah, about you guys, but your parents oh. sound way better than my dad. He made me break into the hardware store and steal six bags of topsoil for him what the, the other day. Jeez. The other day. The other day. That's yeah. That's a felony, I think. I don't know what a felony is. I'm from New Zealand. Nah, shoplifting is um, <laughs> just gets you bad on Twitter these days. Um, well, if, it, if the, oh, if the God, guy lives what? above his store, it could be breaking and entering, which could be very dangerous. No, he didn't live above his store. It was a retail chain. Oh, I, uh... I uh hashtag it. steal from Walmart, guys. Mm -hmm. I was never, I, uh... I was never Walmart. put in a fucking gauntlet by my parents. I remember one time, the first, when I was well, a little kid... Well, you. Right, yeah? I went home, uh, I walked home from school for the first time when I was... I don't know how little I was. I was little, you know, but my mom tailed me in a car. Um, just, you know, because it, it's cars and it's, you know, one of those, like, I mean, grew up in the city, so... Anyway, she tailed me with the car, and I knew she was there. I was, like, waving at her. And I was crossing the final street to get back to my place, the last intersection that I had to get across. And a day of days, that's the one time somebody went ahead and did a did a left turn, like, into me. Like, the car that was to my right went forward, and then, like, in, into me, and screeched to a halt before hitting wow. me. And my mom just screamed at this guy from our car. I mean, lost his shit. My tiny kid brain thought I had made a mistake. So I got really upset and ran the rest of the way home. And my mom got, like, inside, like, fuming because the car, the, the, the other person's car had actually been the fuck up there. I did nothing wrong. And I was like, I'm sorry! And it took a while for my mom to figure out the the error in communication there but uh mm -hmm. yeah that's the closest Bosch. i ever got to Bosch a gun yeah. traffic accident causer yeah well what was the question we were asking um, the question the stores. oh yeah the qu the question oh. that we began with was um if you think that um parents should be um treating their like siblings of different sexes that's, um that's differently right. Yeah. Um, Sorry, we, I just I just got distracted with my childhood trauma. I just needed to be reminded. Okay. We're supposed no, to I like talk it. about. Are, are there any other parents on the panel? <laughs> no, I'm a I fucking parent. Of. Okay. Uh, so guess what? I'm putting the fucking parent? parent card. Yeah. Chill. yeah, yeah right. Let's right slam there. it down, Child Logic. Let's hear it from you. Let's go. Okay. Here's the reality of it, okay? People have got a lot of fucking takes. No, not anyone on this panel. Everyone on this panel's chill. But people have got a lot of fucking takes about parenting without having any fucking kids, okay? I was on the, the Zerka Royale the other day, and fucking Haas and Zerka were talking about basically, you know, emotionally abusing their children, and that would be based, actually. Which is funny to hear from Haas, who's supposedly a materialist. But anyway, I won't start drama over that. Um, the reality is, children, um, you know, will give you an idea of kind of what they need, generally speaking. You know, it's not like they're just a blank slate for you to put the, your will upon them um they will you know exhibit certain behaviors and you kind of go along with it you know so it's not just like a blank slate for you to put your will on them they will give you a bit of an insight into like what they like and what they want to do and stuff like that um and it is interesting to see because um you know my two boys definitely uh, behave in a certain way very differently to my girl and it's like how much of that is genetic how much of that is like inherent how much of that is societal it's difficult to say because they get influenced from such an early age by so many different things one quick example to finish off is like we go by the police station and they're like oh police police car like happy to see like a police car you know and it's like how the fuck do they like the police that's crazy but then you think about the media that they watch and it's all like police are based police are great and Paw they don't patrol. really question yeah Paw poor, yeah exactly poor patrol fucking poor patrol copaganda bullshit anyway that's just the point i wanted to make well i can actually add to that because while i might not be a parent i nannied my way through university so i can like compare i guess parenting styles and all i can say is that the range of parenting styles is so incredibly broad. Like people come up with their own kind of styles that work and they are very, very different. And they they all kind of work and slash inf inflict like generational trauma of some sort on you. Um, but it's, it's, it's interesting to see because it changes widely, even among like, rich people who can afford a nanny so yeah it's like you see two doctors parenting their kids one way and then you see two doctors parenting their kids an opposite way it's it's very interesting so uh, the one thing that i i like worry um 
is that like I, I feel like a lot of people kind of have this ideal of of parenting, right? Like what it should be, right? Well, like yes. we live in a we live in a society uh, that no we live we live in a society we live Guys, in a we world live in a society yeah um, we live in a world where things are going to be different for depending on somebody's like sex right that is just the reality that we're in right now um, uh, so I feel like maybe um, maybe we should be raising certain people with you know more precaution around certain things right. Well, if I think yes. that if, if if you said if your lesson was you know, girls are more likely to be targeted in public settings, I think that sentence you could say that to a son and to a daughter, and yes. they would change their behavior in different ways accordingly because of who's implicated. But you could still give them that same basic info, right? Are are like little girls mowing lawns now and doing like boy chores? I'm I'm kind of curious. I'm not around anybody who has kids, but I'm curious. Like, do parents try to really push for all of that stuff? Well, like, one thing that's, that's right. still really one thing that's so. still pervasive, right, is that it, it, like whether we want to acknowledge it or not, women still from an earlier age pick up domestic work, right? They start helping around the house earlier than than boys do. Um, uh, or they, you know, babysitting they, jobs. Yeah. yeah, they they feel, mm -hmm. you know, they feel the um, the, or they have um been socialized to f like feel some sense of duty or whatever to help out around. Um, so, um, I mean, I, I don't know about like mowing the lawn though. I would say it's probably more like in the house chores, right? More likely. That's a good one. You can get a yeah. tan though. That and uh, taking the garbage out. We have to. We have to yeah. distribute. It's honestly for women's benefit <laughs> if the chores are distributed a little bit better, because so many women are so disappointed when they get boyfriends and realize yes. none of them know how to cook, uh, or or clean dishes, mm. or Can maintain I a house in any way washing? whatsoever. You yeah, know? No, yeah. I had to. I had once. I had a boyfriend, and he terrible, but terrible experience. Don't recommend it. Um, but. I had to teach him how to use his own washing machine <laughs> because he was like, he was like, um, I don't have any like clean underwear for tomorrow. And I was like, what do you mean you don't have any clean underwear for tomorrow? He's like, my dad didn't do the washing. And I was like, what do you mean your oh, dad didn't no, do the washing? Dude, come on. You're in your 20s. No, sorry. What that's sig that's Sigma. That's Sigma. Sorry. That's just Sigma. <laughs> oh. I'm so, so blue balled well, right I, now. It, my what I think is really funny. Replaced. What I think is. Oh my. What I think is really interesting about this, right, is that as a female, if you're lucky, like the the male sibling in your house will eventually pick up chores, maybe at a later age, right? But yeah, um, from what I hear from other um, other people, is that like they've been dating guys that didn't ever pick that up, like didn't ever pick up doing chores at all. So I don't know. Um, yeah. I only no, have I left. Sister, so I don't know, but yeah. This is something I really I, noticed. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I left the nest without knowing all that stuff. I had to learn on my own. My parents didn't even try. Uh, well, I'm proud of you for learning. Do you, do, okay. okay, who here knows how to clean a bathroom? Yeah, easy. Uh, correctly? Everyone. Correctly. Oh, probably oh, we're, not. That, we're, we're getting into the grout here. Are we talking I'm, about like grout with a toothbrush? Oh, hell yeah. no. No, I'm, I'm a janitor. It's so, grout with a toothbrush. That's all it is. It's literally that simple. You can clean a toilet, you can clean a shower, you can clean a sink, and you can mop a floor. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. No, that's tell I, mean, I can. I, I, oh my god, I I'm can, a clean yeah, freak. But this I, is I can do it. I just want to brag about it like some it's weirdo. Basic. It's, I work I, in a retirement I just, home. I've never, like, I feel like I've never met a, a straight man who can clean a bathroom. Okay, now I'm off the table. What's with the straight phobia? Jesus well, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> straight guys. I was going to say, guys. I, also... I hate the straights. What can I say? Oh, there's oh, something okay. just so say, sexy like... about being capable, though. Like, and so oh my sexy. God. When she... And when things are clean, it's just so hot. Like, oh it's God, you took hot. some Wait. things out. Oh God. Oh. Let's you telling go, me some yeah, fella like, with his head in the toilet, you're going to be like, that's fucking hot. I'm all about yes. that. Oh, yes. Well, 
I mean, well, it's, I'm it's not a gonna basic, like... it's, it's a basic competence thing, right? If I, yeah. if I was fucking some girl and I went over to her apartment and it was like, uh, you know, discarded tissues everywhere, fucking period splotches on the bedspread, like everything's fucked. I wouldn't look at all that and think, like, my first thought would be, this is, this is like a baby brain. Like, this is a woman child. I am I would immediately it, turned off by this person's basic lack of competence and self-care. Really? I, I would think that uh, okay, there's yeah. something else like, going no. on there. I feel like, like it's it is female privilege that maybe not like period stains and like dirty tissues, but I think that it is it is like women privilege that like that okay, I have brought home guys when my place was just a fucking pigsty. Like absolutely like boxes everywhere, just like random shit all over, like hardly any like room to move into my room. And I have never thought he's not going to fuck me because my house is messy because they always oh. do. But I feel well, like that's just like the natural dynamic. Can you dating, stop right? abusing men for their fucking I'm... low standards? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Wouldn't flex? cleaning your room be like the bare minimum? Right? No, yeah. Okay, look, right. I it was a it was a university phase. Like it okay. was a, okay. it was like a badge point in my life. But I was never like, oh god, they're gonna be turned off by this. I was never like embarrassed of it. But this, I this do is, know that I would have judged be a shame. Yeah, there. this is out this is outrageous. I do you know why? This is fucking <laughs> absurd I've gender changed. standards. When a guy has got a girl coming over, that motherfucker is spending hours cleaning that place. Yeah, okay? I'm like friends running around and yeah, shit. Oh, only have yeah, one exactly. girl on a yeah. fucking queen bed. So As like he cool. fucking should. And guess what? The bathroom's never clean though, is it? The bathroom's right, so, never so fucking as... clean. As the, like, well, here's the thing. I person. notice a, I notice a, a, a pattern here, Fawn. And and you are talking about. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying uh. to be mean. You're talking about. You've never had dated a guy who knows how to clean things properly, right? But you also mentioned that you also brought a guy back, and he didn't care that your place was a mess, right? So maybe I'm talking, no. Okay, yep. I'm talking about casual sex versus like being in a long term. Does it matter though? Does it really? Is yes. there really a difference? Yes, because I like if I was like bringing home like my boyfriend or girlfriend, like all the time and the house is always messy i would be embarrassed because i'd be like oh i they don't get want to you know to you though that I live like I've, this I've if you live girls. with somebody if you live with somebody if you get to if you date somebody intimately they're going to see that side of you whereas if you're yeah, hooking yeah, up with somebody like, you would probably actually want, that would be more important for them to see your place not messy no, because that's their only impression of you right see i wouldn't I feel hot though that. like if I was worried about like them judging my space, I would not feel hot. Therefore, sex would be bad. Therefore, being yeah. clean is the optimal option in this case. Okay, now, I've ghosted like... girls for having dirty apartments before. If you if it's like I I I went to a, a, a girl's place. But no, we should all have standards. If we all try a little harder, she had like sex toys like on the on the like bed like i don't know if they were like clean or whatever it just looked Ew. like yeah like imagine <laughs> if you go into a guy's buddy. flat and there were like used condoms on the floor or some shit like that okay, like i don't mean like dirty i mean like messy okay oh but there's a big difference between those things right i yeah. don't mind boxes stacked but like you yeah, but if someone's got like their fucking uber eats bag under their bed for like a month <laughs> yeah like i don't know right you know, yeah, like, yeah. With that. okay question question are we fucking in this room <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I could get naked in that room, sure. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Hold on. I've seen worse. I'm, I'm looking at an inch by inch thumbnail from where I am, but that looks oh. fine. Wait, it could be the <laughs> cool guitars. What's on the floor? Wait, there's is what's on the aisle? ceiling? Is that clothes? What are we gonna stare at? Yeah, that's my laundry I haven't folded yet, and that's uh, my it's Thunder clean Jaguar. Laundry on the floor? That I haven't folded now. Is yeah. It, so it's clean. It's clean, and you put yeah. it on the floor. The floor yes. can be clean. Did yeah, vacuum I vacuum my floor. I vacuum today? my floor. Not today. I vacuum them. Yes, yes. I can't deal with this hate on the Sigmas. Come on. Like, no <laughs> respect for the Sigma You're just hating well, it's the fucking oh, look, I'm just bro. saying, I'm just saying, Fawn, just a minute ago. A, Again, just a reminder. We're a saying thing? that you brought like a guy over just... that and okay, you well, care this room that is it was messy. Bad. 
Wait, wait, wait. This room has looked much that. worse, and I've gotten very good pussy I tell on you what, bed, yeah, okay? like, and I would say the guitars get you across the line, which is, like, yeah. probably oh, problematic, no. but, like, the musical talent probably gets you across the line. No, guitars are really triggering for me, so <laughs> I, I've dated a guitarist Cringe. for, like, way too long, so I'd go, nah, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, oh no, no. my sexuality with, is piano right player, now. just in general. Like, oh, that's go it. on. Why not? Yeah, that's it. Like, I'll take uh, when, a when did you? On. When's the last time you changed those bed sheets? Me? That's a good question. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Like a month ago. Oh! oh. oh. Disgusting. Okay, oh. hold on, hold on. Uh, to be oh fair, that could have been a lot worse. No bed for everyone. It could have been a lot worse, but it was. It could have been a lot worse. After the pause, I was expecting like six months. Single for the last? Well, have I been single for the last? I don't know. We're not going to talk about It really depends on how crusty you are, though, right? Because some people they fucking drop, they plop. But some people, like you know, you got like sweat. You know, coming in the bed and shit. Yes, I wear pajamas. Do you change your pillowcase? At least. Yes, I wash the pillowcases. How often? Okay, no, no, no wait. Like, more than once skin. a month? Weekly. Oh, okay. that's, I mean, okay. that's actually, okay. that's still good that's skin. Fine. I mean, that's no, going to help you out. Good. It's going to help yeah. your face. Do you have a yellow pillow? Like, the yellow pillow? No. Mm. What is a yellow guys, pillow? Like it's so interrogating yellow. Dylan, you're freaking guy. Pillow, I mean, Dylan you're is like... getting interrogated tonight. Damn. It's we want to know about his room. Yeah, this is, he is going more to get a pillow? Oh god, oh wait. Oh I'm no, sure wait. This is, yeah, this is I'm terrified. Wait, no. No, it's fine. Pull the pillow out. Off. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is a risk. <laughs> oh no, it's white. Oh, okay. Oh, it's wow. white. Oh, it's really bad. Holy, that's pretty damn white. That's I Yeah, mine are not me. King. me, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, god. <laughs> I think you're you're supposed to replace your pillows more often than people do. Yes. yes. Like How often? Yeah. Like at least once every no. like year, six months at least. I think. Yeah. Okay. Six I months. hate noted. I same because you never know what you're gonna get, right? Is it flat? Is it fluffy? You don't know. Like, is it gonna suit your neck? Maybe not. I've got a really like sensitive. I don't know if it's sensitive neck. I get headaches really, really easily no, if me it's too. bad pillow. I... So I, I've tried out like a dozen, and then just had nothing. I, they're just all shoved in my closet, and then I finally find one that's fine. You know. I have the bambillo like that like. I have that like quite tough, um, like foamy kind of pillow, and I find that it it's like the least damaging. It's not like good, but it's the least damaging for my neck. That's about it. I swap pillows throughout the night depending on how I'm sleeping. Like my pillows just end up in a fucking pile. Like if I'm on my side, it's a firm one, and then if I like want to roll onto my tummy, then it's like a flat one. How 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 many pillows does everyone sleep with? Like there are four. Uh, two. Like four. four, I think. Yeah, four. four. One. I have like way too many, and I like surround myself with them. But, but that's 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 how we all cope now. This is what we get for lack of human interaction. We all have just multiple pillows to bring us oxytocin and joy. Like, it's I fine. I just got one. Oh yeah. God. I mean, I have I have two on the bed. I only use one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you only use one at a time. <laughs> oh no, I use all four at once. No, like some people stack them up. <laughs> no, no. What I about line um, myself really? Up. I yeah, line some people do. Up, like, Wait, for the fems on this channel, do you sometimes put a pillow between your legs, like between your knees? Wait, not is really. I just fem? Wait, um, do I count as fems? Wait, do you? I've I didn't fem know if it has to do with like hip physiology. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've only done it like yeah, once it's, it's when I, I pull the muscle I and make it. Yeah, yeah, I do it because I get, um, I have like scoliosis in my lower back, so it helps that. <laughs> I just have a fat bunda and carrying all the weight makes me need to take a pillow and shove it down shove there. Shove it in. True. <laughs> exactly. True. I, can't yeah, I, had I didn't a, know this was gender spine. neutral. I didn't know. Yeah, Keeping I had a body pillow room. back in college. Not with like an anime or whatever, but just like a body length <laughs> pillow. Mm. No, um, it was with the werewolf guy. It, it, it was with <laughs> the werewolf guy. Yeah. It had like fur attached to it. <laughs> See, I've like never a, used like a body a... pillow. Is it worth it? Uh, yeah, they can be pretty comfy. It's mostly about um, if you're if you're sleeping solo, which I was back in college. It's mostly that when you lay on your side, it's just a comfy place to like rest your left or right knee and like one arm. You know. I'm waiting True, for that Chassan body pillow. 
True. Oh, Streets need I that. I can't stand it. I'm sorry. I'm have, I can't stand his I'm, voice. I can't. I just can't stand his voice. Dude. Like, what a fucking oh, liar, God. dude. No, I'm dude. serious. Dude. Like, he looks good, no but he's, he, like, his, he opens his mouth, and I can't stand his voice. I really can't. I don't know what it is. Dude. Watch him on mute. Um, I don't know, brother, but... Does. Um, I, I want to, I want a Hassan body pillow on one side and my Will Niff body pillow on the other side. Thank you. That's know. all I want. Wow. I need that Zendaya body pillow. I love pillow that for you. I'm very happy. Like, honestly, live your best life. That sounds yeah. like a good Yeah, live your best good life. Time. Definitely. I need, yeah. I need Zendaya. I need Rihanna. I need, um, Beyonce. I need... Sounds like... You may have a type here. Yeah, I'm sensing. Hey, hey, I well, I don't a, mind it. You pillow. know, it's nice to see it every once in a while. Like damn, Look, growing didn't, up didn't, with like different beauty standards. Fuck. I didn't so, talk about the no, I, I didn't I didn't talk about the goth thing yet, but we'll save that for another time. The goth thing. The yeah. goth thing. Yes, my fetish for goth women. That's just is that a normal. fetish? That's just yeah, a preference. That's, that's, that's just a preference. It's, just, it's yeah. totally. I feel like that's also just. Really a... depends on how severe it is, right? I mean. It's severe, my friends. It's severe. <sighs> go on. Why not? But you you don't dress <laughs> goth. Like if you're go if you needed to have goth women in your life, I feel like you'd be rocking <laughs> goth gear right now to attract said that's goth because, women. Uh, I play a guitar with a Joy Division sticker on it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't goth what women. Is that blur? Go Don't on. goth yeah. women fuck jocks? Look, I've oh, seen no. a lot of porn, okay? And I'm pretty sure <laughs> that goth women go after jocks. Because it's My the contrast, women right? with only one name. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I meant. I wasn't saying anything about anything else. I was just like, it was just these one name people, yeah. like famous people. Famous yeah, people streets waiting name. for Cher to hop on my jock. Uh, and, uh... <laughs> Who isn't attracted yeah. to Cher? Like, come on. Okay. Um, I gotta piss so bad, dude. Oh my god. Go I'll ahead. Be back go in go a ahead. Second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, please. Um, like you know, if you, you need like a break, please, please go right ahead. Um, I think. Um, oh. third question.